All right, so here is the um, copy of the form that Satterfield sent. I've changed it just to have drop down options um, for each square. And so it just makes it a little bit easier um, to kind of go through in regards to checking in your kids in a timely fashion. So if you will, uh, once you click the link, it's going to bring up just the view only. You'll just do file and then make a copy, rename it your sport, and then you'll be able to find it um, pretty easily um, within your own Google Drive. So what I've done is um, created template pages already, um, and I've done this for four pods, and I've only done this for four because um, that gives us 100 athletes um, with 25 people in each pod, which may or may not have. Um, so each one is labeled. Um, the first one says pod number one. The second one, I need to change that, says pod number two. Third one, um, we'll say pod number three, and then so on and so forth. So if you have more than one pod, you can definitely add in more. Um, the whole point of me doing these templates is for you to go in and add in your name. So you've got athlete, um, you've got John here, you've got um, Wendy here. I don't know, this is my, my multi-gender um, sport right here. Um, you've got Billy here, you've got, I don't know, Juan here. All right. Um, so within these pods, this way, when you set up your pods, you can just duplicate this template every single day. Um, and the way you're going to do that, so say I want to make pod two, this is my blank template, nothing's filled in, but I want to make it for the first day. Uh, I'm going to go down to the bottom, I'm going to right click where it says template pod number two. I'm going to hit duplicate and it's going to duplicate it down on the bottom. All right, so notice it's got copy of pod number two, and you can move it. Um, I always am gonna move mine and keep my templates up front just to kind of keep things a little more organized. Um, but when once you've done that, you can double click on it and you can rename it. So I'm gonna rename this pod two, and then my date, my first day of practice is 1020. Um, and then that way I can go through and I can do the same thing for pod three. So I can do duplicate. It's going to make one down at the bottom for me. I'm going to rename it pod three and then 1020 and then so on and so forth. So you can do this for all the different days that you are checking in your athletes. Um, I would always leave these template ones completely blank because when you copy it, it's gonna copy over anything that you put into that template. Um, so I would just put the actual names. So notice that I did with pod two on my template. If I look at my pod two for 1020, it has the names already in there. And then I can just go in and say, okay, staff, athlete, I can check yes, I can check no, I can check you know, yes again for all of these questions. And I've left the temperature one blank just because you don't necessarily need to record uh, from a drop down menu any of those options. All right, so I've gone through and done that. Um, and so that should be pretty self-explanatory. Let me know if you have any questions.